Hey guys, I'm Matt, the Woodshed Barber, and today we're talking about probably my favorite clipper. So if you're like me, and you're a barber of at least 15, 20 years in the business, you probably remember a time when we put a whole lot more emphasis on detachable blades. Nowadays, I see all these clipper companies, especially the new ones, coming out with adjustable clippers. And that's great because it's what we fade with. It's what we've always faded with. However, when it comes to removing bulk, getting all that thick hair down in the best time possible with the smoothest cut at the end, I honestly don't think that you can beat a detachable blade system. And whenever it comes to detachable blades, they, they've kind of fallen off. Um, Oster was the mainstay for the longest time and i may go on a different tangent at a different time and who knows maybe this will be a, a start for a soapbox for me but i just don't think that company really cares about barbers anymore oster doesn't care about barbers um but andis got in the game wall barely put their toes in the game but that's it however there are good uses for them in modern day barbershops. If you're gonna be doing a fade, if you're gonna be doing a taper, and you wanna get the smoothest start for your transition, let's say you start off with a three, or you start off with a two, having a detachable blade clipper that can mow that hair down for you and get it as smooth as possible before needing to pull off some of that, that lighter hair for a fade or for a taper, it's a huge time saver, and I think it results in a much better, cleaner finish at the end. So whenever I started in the business, I started off with the Classic 76. And around the time I got out of barber school is whenever Oster released the Titan, which was their two-speed version of the 76. And even though this has the 76 nameplate on it, this right here actually is a Titan. This is what I used for the longest time. You can see the two speeds right there. And it was a great clipper. I used it for the longest time. And then the only smart move I think Oster has made in two to three decades is that they brought back the Model 10. But here's the funny thing. They brought back this right around the time that the industry was truly innovating and spreading its wings. And around 2010 is whenever I discovered the BGR from Andis. Um, it was a corded or cordless version of a detachable blade clipper. It didn't take grease, it wasn't as loud, and it was just a very surprising and enjoyable cutting experience. Now, there were problems with the BGR, don't get me wrong. Um, the BGR was a little bottom heavy because the battery weighed a lot. It was also a nickel cadmium battery, so I'd say in the probably four to five years that I used the BGRs, I probably went through seven or eight batteries. And I would always have at least two on the station at all times. But then in 2000, I think 14 or 15, I discovered that Andis was coming out with a new clipper. Now you probably think I'm gonna be saying the Super ZR, right? Yeesh. Nope. I'm gonna show you a clipper you've never heard of. This is the Pulse ZR from Andis. And yes, it's, it's all black. But this is the exact same clipper as the Super ZR from Andis, but this is the Pulse ZR. And the reason you've never heard of it, wait for it, it's a dog grooming clipper. Now, I may have just lost a lot of you right there by saying dog grooming clipper. There are some perks for rolling with a detachable blade system for animal groomers versus barbers. Like I just said a second ago, the barber industry has kind of lost sight of the importance of detachable blade systems. I mean, I would love to see Babyliss attempt their version of it. I would love to see Stylecraft or Gamma do theirs. But they have zero interest in it and have not talked about it at all. So because of that, an industry that thrives on detachable blade clippers is the dog grooming industry. So they are getting the best the newest, the best technology, because let's be honest, um, if you're cutting 
on a human head, you know, let's say you, you take your time and you're not, you haven't got your speed up. You're going to be spending at least 45 minutes on a head of hair if you're not right where you should be time-wise. Now, most of us, we can get a knock on a haircut in 30 minutes and be very proud of it, but let's say you need 45 minutes. Okay, what if you're a horse groomer? If you shear sheep, if you're a dog groomer, they use the same kind of clipper systems that the 76 was. The same blade mount bracket, everything. The same blades fit on animal grooming clippers. But they are getting the best detachable blade clippers on the market. And I highlight that with the Pulse. Once again, kind of like the BGR, it doesn't use grease. It actually uses the same plastic armature system. That's not quiet that is. I'm gonna talk over it. But it's a super quiet clipper, especially compared to the Titan or the 76. So what's so special about the Pulse ZR over the Super ZR? Well, and this may seem kind of shallow of me, but I like the fact that it's all black. You didn't have any of that blue and gray from the first Supra. It's super durable. It's lasted me for seven to eight years. And I mean, I use it on every client. It is my favorite clipper. It's the one clipper that if I had to choose what I would use every day for the rest of my career, this clipper would be the first one on the list. Also, the speeds on the Pulse ZR are faster for each step than that of the Super ZR. So I got some notes here. Um, the Super ZR, from its lowest setting, is 1800 RPMs to its fastest being 3800 RPMs. The speed on the Pulse ZR, the lowest is 2,500 RPMs, and the highest is 4,500 RPMs. This is with it on at speed one. I'm just talking to you. Speed one would be more for cutting through wet hair. If you ever had somebody come in that needed uh, to donate hair, you actually could just plow through it with this. Uh, the slower speed is just for more forgiving cutting. Speed two. I don't really use speed two that much, but speed three, I leave it on speed three, speed three all the time. This is the fastest I've needed it to be, and only whenever I have, only whenever I'm having buzz cuts that are super resistant to getting every single hair clipped, which is very rare, very thick heads of hair, then I'll crank it up to five. And that's five. I mean, that thing is blazing. And, you know, they used to do that, that thumb test of trying to stop a blade on a magnetic clipper or a rotary clipper. Good luck with this. It'll tear your thumb up if you try it. Now, in the world of seniors and uh, Boost Plus from, from, from Babyliss, um, in that world, that seems like a slow speed. But we're not talking about a magnetic motor. These things mow through hair with a ton of torque. So don't let the, the speed being lesser than that of the adjustable blades fool you. There's nothing that these things can't cut. And it will out plow and out debulk every other clipper on the market that has a lever. Guarantee it, no doubt. It's black, it has faster speeds for each of the five speeds. And on those five speeds, this right here is where you turn it on. I keep it on three all the time. Now, why is that important? If I'm needing a certain RPM to plow through hair at a good pace, and I'm having to max out my clipper, that battery is not gonna last me near as long. But if I can do the same thing on level three instead of level five, that battery's gonna last me longer. I can tell you the truth, I have never, in seven to eight years of using this clipper, I have never had the battery die on me. I can, and I've left it off the charger for a third of the day, a half of the day. I always put it back on there because that's how you keep these things ready to go. But it's never quit on me because it has a three hour runtime. And there are adjustable clippers now that people still praise like the senior that doesn't have a three hour runtime. So great runtime, great power, great speed. So there's one more thing that I think that they do with the Pulse ZR that is worth getting over any of the barber clippers out there. I'm talking about the Octane. I'm talking about the Classic 76, the Maroon one. I'm talking about the Black 76 that also has three speeds, but 
still not worth getting compared to this thing, and I'll tell you why. The blade bracket, right there. See this little button? Let me go in on that. What that does is that locks your blade into place. You do have to learn your blade to, to guard ratio. A 1A on blade is more like a 1 on the guard. So it's a, a 3.2 millimeter, so it's a little bit less than a 1. But this thing, it's not coming off. Whenever these blades cost 35 to 40 bucks per blade, it's very important to realize that that's an investment my entire blade system could cost $250 without the clipper. So with that blade lock being there, all you have to do, and I've gotten to the use of just kind of taking this finger on, as soon as I do that, it's ready to come off. That right there is going to save you from dropping your blades, especially since I use the ceramic blades. If you drop them, you're most likely going to lose a tooth or two. Now, they are an expensive clipper, but we've seen guys fork out three, $400 for a Snap FX. Well, this one, the, the price I found for the Pulse ZR online is $396. The Super ZR with Atlanta Barber Supply is $336. So, yeah, it's a little bit more, but you're getting more power, more features, more safety. And on top of that, I, I just I don't know exactly how they have it built in, but in the barber industry, I know that there's built-in obsolescence. It's it's part of the game. They want you to come back and buy more clippers. But in the animal grooming world, for a farmer who doesn't want to fork out four hundred dollars every year to shear some sheep, they might be putting a little bit more of their energy into making this clipper last longer. I don't know of anybody with a Pulse ZR or a Super ZR that has had it for seven or eight years and I'll wear this thing out so now where does it sit price wise with the competitors like I said 396 for this one the Oster Octane 359 I couldn't even find now granted it doesn't have you know the dual charging base so you can charge two batteries I couldn't find with Oster Octane the RPMs they don't have them anywhere on the website same thing for the classic 76 cordless or the black 76 cordless. Yeah, so the, the black 76, three speed is 374. The burgundy 76 cordless, one speed, I found it for uh, 163 on Amazon. So you've got, I mean, that's a good option for you. And honestly, uh, on Amazon right now, if you want the Super ZR, which I, if they didn't make this, I would get the Supra. It's just almost the same clipper. But if you want the Super ZR, they actually have a deal right now on Amazon. You can get it for 250 bucks which is a crazy good deal. That's, you know, almost 150 bucks less than this. Um, the Black 76 cordless is $20 cheaper than this. And you get five speeds on this, and it'll probably be built to last longer. And plus, I've, I've handled that thing. It is ginormous. This thing is so comfortable in the hand. That curved waist right there on this clipper is so comfortable to hold. You will not get sick of using this clipper. I guarantee you, you get it in your hands. And also, compare it to the Octane again that weird octagonal shape that that thing has I, and plus it's got that louder motor sound to it just don't like it this thing is my favorite clipper it's the best competitor for all the cordless detachable blade systems i'm just saying all this to educate you guys to let you know some different ways to find tools that work for you they do have the zr2 now which is probably the better bet to get because you can take out the battery and put a new battery in. Like I said, I've never had this one fail on me. And if you can see, built-in battery. So maybe I lucked out, but regardless, this is my favorite clipper and it is one that I would have refused to cut without. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was encouraging to you. I hope that it gave you some insight that maybe you've not thought of before. Click a thumbs up if you like the video. If you dislike it, I wanna be sure I hear from you. So hit that down thumbs down button twice so I can know. Okay? Yeah. Appreciate that. Um, appreciate you guys. I'm still getting used to this, and I hope to bring more education your way and going to figure out some, like, some haircut tutorials here soon. Post those up. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, 
and have a great day. See ya.